Hello everyone. So, it's the end of the year, well, technically beginning, but I wanted to make a quick wrap-up video about 2018 and some general observations. I will be making a top five moments of 2018. I won't do a worst moment because I'd rather be positive than negative. There were definitely some not so great moments and I'm sure I know what people are going to say about the negatives, but there were some really great moments of 2018 and definitely felt like a step forward in a lot of directions and I'm at least glad for that. Uh, if you're wondering, I am kind of coming off of a cold. Um, I caught it when I was traveling for New Year's and unfortunately I had to just make the best of it, so that's basically it. I also want to say certain things in this video, and one of the things I know a lot of people are probably asking about the whole tipster thing. So, you know what? I'm just going to be upfront. If tipster, if you're watching this video, I didn't mean to be nasty, but after that live stream of 2017, I've gotten nasty comment after nasty comment after nasty comment, and once tipster, once you started being not so nice to me, I started punching back and I, you know, I'm at a point where I'm just defensive and I don't care anymore. You know, someone owed me money for years for a, two plane flights, lied to me, and didn't pay me back. So I think people can understand where I'm coming from. You know what, you want to say it's unacceptable, I get what you're saying, but that being said, I think if you were owed money, tipster, I think I could understand where you're coming from. If you were owed money, tipster, I think you'd be angry, mad, upset, doing anything possible. So, yeah, I think that too. Also, I want to point out something, tipster, and you probably know where I'm coming from. So I notice you have a lot of trolls, and you like to make fun of the trolls on your Twitter, and I've noticed quite a bit, so I'm going to just show you how I deal with trolls. So this is an example of a troll, right? Exhibit A. So see that right there? That's a nasty comment. So what do I do with troll? Well, let's go to the next thing. And what happens after? So yeah, you get the idea, right? I don't deal with people that are nasty with me anymore. I've just gotten to the point where my tolerance for people that are nasty to me, I'm just like, look, if you actually have the gonads to actually say something to my face, I'll give you points on that. But to leave a faceless comment on a video is the most cowardice thing you can do on someone's video, on someone's Twitter. Anyone can do that. That takes no, no go, no balls at all. To just leave a kind of comment like that. And yeah, tipster, I'm gonna call you out here. Like, just seriously, you don't want to have to like what people say to you, but to kind of like perpetuate it by constantly talking about it, it's not really a good idea. Just, just a word of advice. Just block the person. Like, you don't have to like what the person says. You don't have to agree what the person says. You don't have to agree with what I say. I don't really care. So, yeah, someone gives you an opinion you don't like, you don't have to lose your marbles over it. Don't spill the milk too, by the way. So yeah, that's my personal opinion. Yeah, you don't want to like me, I don't really care. I just want to get what I need, I'm done, I don't need to deal with this, this drama. It's 2019, people. Oh, here's a good resolution for all of the Etika fans that I know they're going to keep. So I've shown you guys what I do to the nasty comments. Yeah, I'm just gonna remove them. Keep it up. Really, I'm loving it. I'm loving the attention. Just keep coming. I don't really care. So I just remove the, the comment and I block it. So if you want to waste your time, hell, dislike for all I care. I don't care anymore. And you want to know what? No offense, that's kind of the reaction that Tipster should be having. It's like, if he wants people to not like him, you know, I know it's not fun. No one wants to get bullied online. It's like, look, tipster, I've gotten homophobic comments. I've gotten comments where people try to use Jew. The word Jew is not an insult, okay? Calling someone a Jew is not an insult, by the way. Just, just letting people know, because I don't think people know what an insult is. Calling the F word, derogatory word for gay, is an insult. Calling the N word to a certain group of people, which we already know what that's for. That's an insult. But calling someone a Jew, and oh yeah, by the way, just because my last name ends in certain word doesn't mean I'm Jewish. I actually celebrated Christmas, but thank you for that. So yeah, I wanted to get that out of the way. Tipster, I really don't care. 
I know you weren't the one responsible. I just wanted to say it out of the, maybe the, I don't know, the sarcasm of the new year. So, take it as you will. Yes, I've seen the tweets. I've seen this tweet. Yes, I know. I've been informed. So, yeah. I know he's gonna pay me back. Well, we'll see what he says. We'll see what he says. So, you know, it's obviously not you, Tipster, that's gonna make sure that he's gonna pay me back. It's him. I mean, I would have liked if you did, but I don't really care. You don't have to. But, you know what, Tipster? On the off chance that you meet me in person, I'll be nice to you. I'm not gonna be mean to you. What do I gain by being nasty to people face to face? I mean, you want to give me certain things on the internet, it's like, that's the internet culture, I know that how that is, but I don't really care. So, you want to just freaking patch the gravel and move on, fine. I just want my money back, okay? And I think if you were in the same position, I think you would understand a bit more. But you don't, you haven't been in that situation, so you know what? I'm not even going to blame you on that, buddy. But you know what? If you do get in that situation and you're like, I understand what you were coming from, and then I'll be like, there you go, buddy. So, and yeah, don't worry. I don't really care. You do your own thing. I don't care what direction you take with your YouTube channel. I'm going to call it as it is. I don't really care. You don't have to like my opinion. Again, just don't lose your marbles or spill your milk over it and have to go on Twitter and just be like, look what he said to me, guys. I really don't care, okay? That's why I'm telling you in this video so that way you can know because I know you blocked me on Discord because you were running behind your tail between your legs because I don't care. So yeah, deal with it. But anyway, that message I wanted to get out of the way. So yeah, 2018, uh, lots of goods and, and, and bads. I'd rather focus on the positives. I'm going to be f having a video. I hate having to kneel on the ground right now. Um, I'm gonna have a video highlighting the positives of 2018, and there were quite a bit of good ones. I will say one or two was a more schadenfreuder, and I'm sure I know who thinks that they know what the schadenfreuder moments were. So yeah, there was quite a bit of schadenfreuder moments of 2018. Two of them, and you'll probably know when that video goes up. So yeah, there were two good schadenfreuder moments, but there were also some genuinely positive moments, I think from myself, of last year that I really enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to take my channel in a new direction. I tried doing something different in December. You guys saw I changed the channel name. You know, I'm just trying to do something that fits. I know people have said, I want you to be what you were back when you lived in New Jersey. Look, guys, I no longer live in New Jersey. I know the people, the fans that liked my old channel and such, you have to understand, this is my channel. This reflects me. I'm not going to pretend I still live in New Jersey anymore. I don't. I don't want to be something I'm not. I want to be me. I want to be focused on what I'm about, what I'm doing, what is going on. So that's what I want to focus on. I still want to have my content be focused on video game content. You know, will I talk about a certain topic online? Sometimes, but I, you know, I don't want to go in the drama direction. That direction's like, I might, you know, skinny dip there once in a while. I might dabble in it, but I'm not gonna like jump into it and be like, oh yeah, this is great. It's like, you know what? And no offense, this is a real message to Tipster. You know, Keemstar is probably like thirsty when he needs a video. So I'm just gonna let you know that drama does dry up. You can't keep doing drama. Eventually, over time, you know, you can try to reinvent the wheel but it's still gonna be a wheel. You can paint a new coat of paint on an old building. It's still an old building, it's just a new coat of paint. It doesn't matter how many times you try to do something differently, um, you can keep going. I mean, there are people that have a successful formula, but even successful formulas get old, and that's why, you know, you know, you might be having to prevent yourself. You'd be surprised. So, you know, congratulations on you doing direction. Keep it up. So, glad for your new gain. You doubled your YouTube subscribers. That's impressive. You know, it was funny because someone said something about my YouTube subscribers two years ago in a stream. What did they say again? It says 7,904. That number better be half by the morning time. Oh, my number better be half by the morning? Oh, what is it now?
Oh, it's like double that from what I stand from two years ago. Okay, well that's a good reference. But anyway, yeah, guys, I wanted to make this video about the wrap-up of 2018. I had a lot of really great moments, had a not so great too, but I'd rather focus on the positive than the negative because optimism is power and it's the key of change. That's what I say. So yeah, guys, uh, I want to thank you for watching. I heard YouTube is taking away credits, which is unfortunate because I really actually like the end credits screen. So if end credits happen and change, then I just have to adapt with the times. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. And here's to a more happy and positive 2019. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!